Maybe the best way to think about pseudospectral optimal control is to think about your iPhone. Pseudospectral optimal control theory is like a generic tool for solving optimal control problems. Just like your iPhone is a kind of platform that you can load different kinds of apps onto. So if pseudospectral optimal control is the iPhone, the apps that we integrate with this um, optimal control framework are the different kinds of problems that we want to solve. So one of the neat things about pseudospectral optimal control is that we actually have had the opportunity to take the theory from the laboratory and the computer and actually implement it in practice. So way back in 2006, we used pseudospectral optimal control techniques to find a way to maneuver the International Space Station through very large angles. So we wanted to rotate the whole thing 90 or 180 degrees without using thrusters. This is the first time we'll be doing a major maneuver with CMGs only. Now normally, to do this kind of maneuver, we have to fire off the thrusters because they have the power that we need to perform this large angle rotation. It's just a little uh, white knuckle for uh, NAS down here. Yeah. Sailing the station. That's essentially what they're doing. Using pseudospectral optimal control techniques, what we were able to figure out is how to use the gravity torque that is part of the space environment which is existing on orbit uh, in a way that we could actually use those torques to help us maneuver the station and in doing so we could achieve these large angle maneuvers without the need to fire the thrusters. Okay, the maneuver is over. Uh, everybody's real happy back here. Of course, you know, now they're going to want to do it all the time. So because we're able to do this, each time we need to do a large angle slew like this or a large angle maneuver, we could save upwards of a million dollars in fuel costs. And that's a pretty big deal.